Hi friends, <clears throat> welcome to my channel. Today we will see very basic concepts of MATLAB. Uh, if you are a layman and you are seeing first time to the uh, first time MATLAB, uh, then I will start in that point of view. So I opened this MATLAB. I clicked on MATLAB icon on my desktop after installing it, and this is the this is called IDE, Integrated Development Environment of uh, MATLAB. So this middle one is called command window and this is workspace and in left side you will have the folder in which uh, you are working so uh, this is some previous work which is there so so in uh, the command to clear the command window is clc enter C, uh, type clc and press enter it will clear your command window to clear workspace there are two uh, uh, commands that is clear variables clear wars so it will clear your workspace otherwise simple clear also clear your workspace so this command window matlab is a powerful tool designed for all mathematical operations and lot of uh, other uh, applications also we will learn one by one so first command window is like so uh, it can do all arithmetic operations like 7 plus 9 it gives 16 10 minus 5 it gives 5 uh, like some it also have some inbuilt function sqrt of uh, 2 to 5 it answer 5 you can directly uh, get some kind of uh, square root of 15 into 9 you can get directly these answers so here you can see after every operation we are getting ans ans equal to ans ans indicates answer so matlab creates matlab creates a variable uh, which is uh, whose name is ans a n s so ans is a variable created in the matlab memory so every time the answer the ans variable is updated with the answer so you can use that variable also uh, i can write ans uh, plus 9 previously ans is 34 point something and ans plus 9 so now it is 43.8 or something so MATLAB hold this ANS variable in its memory. Uh, now to clear window, I am clearing command window to clear the variable also. I can write clear. So I can assign values to variables also. Like x equal to 10, uh, y equal to 20 so now if i can do operations on these variables so x plus y you will get 30 so three variables are created in the workspace x y and ans so to know about uh, what are the variables present in the workspace we have a command called whose w h o s it will gives it gives variable name its size number of bytes it's, it's occupied its class uh, mostly most of the mat matlab variables are of double and we have uh, characters strings also so uh, strings or characters we need to add with quotations so n e u uh, now a variable w is created with this so if i want to see so this is six bytes and it's a character and to get string uh, let me take it should be covered with double quotes z is assigned with 
another character came as is care it is string see you can observe here it's care it's string so we need to know variables this is string this is variable this is double this is care on 50 bytes it's most of all almost all matlab variables covers by this three data types so some more will be there i am not touching those so we can see always after every command this matlab touches this matlab as generates an answer so if you don't want output we can use semicolon so semicolon is used so uh, let me write a command this percentage give uh, takes it as a command and it won't execute it semicolon is output suppressor output suppressor what is semicolon semicolon is this this is semicolon so if i press enter it won't execute anything it takes that percentage as up whatever the thing which comes after percentage as comment so let me say like x equal to 9 plus 10 if i let me clear the command window we will okay so x equal to 9 plus 10 so we got x value and x equal to x plus 7 got 26 so matlab program is sequential so at this point this x is already with 19 so now the new value of x is 26 so if you don't want to observe these outputs then I can write x equal to 9 plus 10 semicolon now see x value is updated but it is not showing the output so x equal to x plus 7 so see x value is updated but it is not showing the output so our next next useful punctuation is comma punctuation is comma comma is this this is comma so we can have multi line comments also uh, multi line comments start with this and ends with with this this is multi line comment so this mostly we use while we using a script uh, not in command window we can take the script and run we can generate a new script and uh, all instructions at a single place and we can run it to show it later so we will go for comma now so like u equal to 25 comma me equal to 10 so 
this two we have given so it created two variables u and me and values with 10 and 9 if you don't want to see the outputs you can you, you need to use semicolon after each and every command so it will create an and on these two variables you can do all operations like u plus me 35 u plus u minus me 15 u by me is 2.5 u into me is 250 you have but power it is the symbol this is the power symbol this is u power of me this is this value that is 25 power of 10 that is so we can use functions on these variables like qrt of u So you can directly compose we can do some compound operation also you can write sqrt into 8 into 9 so 72 root will come uh, root of 72 this is uh, this is same like I have an expression x uh, x is assigned with 8 into 9 and now I want to get square root of x so both are same so we can see by clicking on variable we can see its value suppose if it is array arrays I have covered another video uh, you can see it uh, you will have uh, separate values for each arrays two dimensional or single dimensional so by clicking on arrays, you, uh, clicking on variable, you can see. So I'm ending this video uh, now. I hope it will be helpful. Please subscribe to my channel. If you like the video, like it uh, to encourage me. Share with your friends. Press the bell icon to get more videos directly into your device.